Thank you for joining me in this noon prayer at Westside. You know, lately I've been thinking a lot about how the grip of anxiety can be created or even magnified by our altered reality. That word anxiety is one we resist as if to admit its existence is some sign of weakness. That's a human impulse, but it's impractical. And more importantly, it's not the will of God. C.S. Lewis put it this way, some people feel guilty about their anxieties and regard them as a defect of faith. I don't agree at all. They are afflictions, not sins. Like all afflictions, they are, if we so take them, our share in the passion of Christ. So whatever your circumstance during this stressful time in our lives, I strongly encourage you to give yourself a break. Instead of powering through your struggles as if they don't exist, I hope you'll take the time to give your mind and body the nourishment it needs. Let's start with a short meditation. Wherever you are, find a comfortable position and allow your eyes to, to slowly shut. Take a deep breath in, and as you let it go, release any tension you feel in your face and your jaw. Breathe in again, and as you exhale this time, let go of any worries and concerns. With each exhale, allowing any tension to just melt away. Release any tension that you're feeling in your neck and your shoulders and your upper back. Leave behind any worries, concerns, knowing that you can always come back to those responsibilities and take care of them. Give in to the relaxation by slowing down your mind, leaving the past behind, being fully present in the current moment. And with the next four inward and outward breaths, imagine the Holy Father placing his hand on your shoulder and reminding you that you are not alone. Now let yourself gradually slip out of this meditative state, ready for whatever lies ahead. And as you press on in the days ahead, consider these words of encouragement in John 14, 2 and 3. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Have a great week.